Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. There are at least four sources that indicate that Union General Ulysses S. Grant visited Natchez in the summer of 1863, not too long after the fall of Vicksburg. Although there is no specific reference to his visit to be found among his papers, which today are housed at Mississippi State University, there's little doubt that Grant did come to Natchez. Matilda Gresham, in her biography of her husband, Walter Quentin Gresham, military commander of Natchez, has Grant arriving in Natchez on July 13, remaining but a few days and making his residence at Rosalie. The New York Times places the general in the city on August 16th of that year. The newspaper observed that soon after his visit, Grant ordered the picket lines of the city to be closed due to the large crowds of freedmen trying to enter Natchez. And in a letter to Captain Adam Badeau, Grant's chief of staff, Stephen Duncan of Auburn assures the captain that the Union General will no doubt remember meeting him during his visit to Natchez. The most compelling evidence that Grant visited Natchez, however, comes from the recollections of Russ Harris, a former jockey who rode the great horse Lexington for Colonel Adam Bingaman, a former slave known as the Horse Whisperer. Harris recalled that while driving a carriage into town, he was taken into custody by members of the United States Colored Troops. He was presented to Union officers and informed them that he was to drive Grant upon the General's arrival from Vicksburg. Harris remembered driving Grant all over town one afternoon, noting that he was powerful afraid that the Confederates across this creek would shoot at us and hit him instead of the General. Hello, this is David Slay, Interim Chief of Interpretation, Natchez Historical Park. And this has been your Natchez History Minute.